Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good day to you all. Today we are going to going to do example 7.6 uh, from the chapter uh, miscellaneous, miscellaneous uh, sharp component. Okay, uh, this content is taken from Shigli Mechanical Engineering Design book and all the images is taken randomly from Google Images. And for doing this example, I suggest you have the textbook uh, beside you. Okay, it's better if you have the textbook beside you. If not, uh, you take your pen and do uh, and, and follow my uh, calculation. Okay. So the example uh, six seven point six tells about a uh, UNS uh, G one. 0350 steel sharp heat rated to a minimum yield strength of 75 kpsi as diameter of 1716 inch then the shaft rotates at nah, 600 revolution per minute and transmit 40 horsepower through a gear select an appropriate key for the gear with design factor of 1.5 okay this is the image the uh, depiction uh, of the what the question you want to uh, answer okay uh, a tip to to the question you should have some idea what you want to uh, calculate okay uh, if um, if you have the idea then you can do the uh, better you can do the question if not you can imagine what is what is what going you are going to do okay this is what you are going to do okay the the diagram is like this and this is the uh, the picture okay this is the picture that you want to calculate from table uh, 7.6 uh, given uh, you choose 3.8 inch okay the question is why you from all this table you choose 3.8 inch okay where is this is 3.8 inch you have you have the textbook with you it's so advantage to you because you can see because the, this screen is uh, small okay uh, however, I want to explain why you choose uh, uh, 3.8. 3.8 is here. This is the key and size uh, dimension. Meaning that uh, if you can draw, it is like this. Okay, like this. Width, width, and height of the uh, of the key. Okay. In actually, when you choose like this, will become it will become a rectangular a square a square uh, key lah. so a square key 3. Uh, okay 3.8 like this okay with and with uh, and height is also the same okay but the question is why you choose 3.8 apart on all the other uh, value okay because given in the question the shaft diameter is 17 per 16 you divide it become 1.473 what is the nearest to it you see in the uh, you see here the option one if you have one uh, one over four you see here over four you convert become 1.25 and option number two you have one three over eight you convert 1.375 which is near which is the nearest the nearest is this 3.8 okay you you minus 4.73 minus 1.38 you get only about what 0 0.06 something okay this is why you choose uh, the value uh, 1 3 over 8 and the value will become 3 uh, uh, apa? 3 3 over 8 and 3 over 8 uh, square inch okay let's uh, try to understand it huh? okay then you have to find the tongue okay so just to remind you what is a tongue the tongue is like this this is a shaft you the the, the mechanism will uh, rotate the shaft uh, the is uh, it become a torsion and this torsion will be give some tongue to read okay so the question uh, the equation is given point equation 3.42 which is this is the equation 3.42 h is power h is power then torque is 
Kansas the revolution per minute and this is the 63205 is given from uh, it can derive, derive from the original equation you get this 63205 is given in the in the question okay in in the equation 3342 uh, and then you convert you get the top okay 40 is given in the question 40 and 600 is revolution per minute also given in the question and then you get the uh, top value as 4200 pound inch okay you want to find the force at the surface of shaft okay so the force is taken from the equation force equals to torque uh, over radius so this is the radius given by the shaft diameter 1.473 you remember from the uh, uh, previous slide given the shaft diameter is 1716 inchi you com you convert to become 1.475 okay and then the radial this is the diameter radial just divide by 2 divide by 2 you get the, the value okay so uh, uh, torque is given uh, you have calculated before 4200 and then you get 58 uh, five zero pound. What does it mean? Okay, if you convert, if you uh, uh, Malaysian student and all the uh, all the students that use the uh, SI unit, okay, they don't use the pound system. Conversion is five five eight five zero pound will convert to two thousand six hundred fifty three kilo. One pound equals to zero point five kilo. What does it mean? It means that uh, the shaft, the shaft, you want to rotate the shaft, it needs the force equivalent to 2600 kilogram. My hand, my hand cannot, cannot rotate the each touch power. Okay, this pen, if we crash with, uh, with 2600 pound, we will be crushed away. So, you need material that can withstand, withstand such force. Of course, you need a steel or many stronger material that can withstand 2,000 kilogram, 2,600 kilogram of weight uh, exiting on this shaft. Okay, this, this is the meaning of the uh, force given. Meaning that when you want to find the suitable material for the uh, key, you will need uh, the, the material can withstand 2,600 kilogram of force okay okay uh, uh, it is easy you can search from the textbook uh, also from google from the material properties what can the material can withstand the compressive force from uh, the load okay at, at whatever material that can overcome 2600 you take that material you use okay from the by the dissociation energy theory the shear strength is given by this equation 0.577 sy okay uh, this uh, strength is given in the question 54 you uh, time this is the uh, this is the equation okay this is the equation and then you get 331.2 kpsi okay Failure by cross section across the area AB will create a stress of uh, stress uh, tau equal to force over TL. Okay, but here which is radius. Uh, if you, you remember this question, question the, the geometry is the geometry is rectangular geometry. So it is this is T and this is L. Okay. So substitute the strength by divided by design factor. Design factor is given in the question 1.5, and then you get this uh, 5, 4, uh, 5, 5, 0 by this uh, 1 point, uh, 0 0.375 times length, and then you get length equals to 0 0.75 inches. Okay, and force you come from the previous uh, calculation. Okay, 5850 pound. Okay. And then to resist crushing, 
Okay, to resist crushing, the area of the one half face of the key is used is uh, 5850 pound. Okay, divided by uh, 0.375 L divided by 2, you get uh, L length equal to 0.8 inchy. And failure by crushing is a key dominant failure mode. So it defines the resistance of the key become 0.87 inchy, meaning that the length of the length of this must be 0 0.87 okay 0 0.87 and then this is the length of that um, okay so meaning that your key will not crush okay as long as the length is 0 0.87 inch it will not crush okay so that's all for the video this video uh, okay we will continue in the next video on the limits and fits okay so thank you very much